Fez, what's on your mind right now? What's going on over there? You've been a little quiet during all this talk. What's, uh, what is it you want to talk about? I was thinking about this with uh, fast food and the fast food restaurants. Mm-hmm. Why wouldn't this conversation get you thinking about burgers and fries? <laughs> get me hungry. Um, Are it, you saying that you want to buy us burgers after the show today? I will buy us burgers. Fuzzy! Fuzzy! That's right, audience. Everybody else. No, 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 hey! It's a lot of burgers. Could you could you split a burger? Share a All bag right. of fries. He tried to get him to stay home. No, I didn't. <laughs> I did burgers. I heard Well, that's one less show. burger I have to get uh, purchased today. One less burger <laughs> to purchase. <laughs> one less egg to fry. If you took the national fast food places mm-hmm. and you were putting together the perfect menu, right. which item would you take from which menu to put together the perfect one? Now, you were thinking about this because you heard it on the Ron Fez show before in the past... <laughs> Because we have talked about this uh, quite a few times. Because it is one of the big, big uh, problems that uh, you have. It's the best of wine. Just because you get a good burger from someone doesn't mean that's the same place that you're going to get a good shake. Yep. And good fries. And then a little something at the end of the meal to, you know, give you a nice little sweet little cleanser. I think if you were going to open this up with a burger, you take the Wendy's single, the classic single from Wendy's. All right. Now, you, I, I, I don't want to stop you, Fez, because I see you're on your way there. Uh-huh. But are you telling me Five Guys is not fast food or it is? Um, I just didn't think of it as, uh, I mean, I know it, it's a franchise. It's up to you whether you want to negate it or not. I was going to negate it. Okay. Because I didn't know if everybody had them. All right. You can do whatever you want, but if you're throwing a burger in and, and franchises... And you're not using that one, uh, then you know I'm not part of it. So I was thinking the Wendy's single, I'm which walking is out. no, <laughs> you don't have to walk show. out, please. Great, we can uh, count the five guys. When I when I do the walk out, I need the Stone Cold music. <laughs> That's what, Fezzy. I'm walking out of here. I've had it. <laughs> Why flip me off? <laughs> Why walk out backwards? If you're mad, you could just leave. You don't have to walk out backwards flipping me off. Every time he talks about burgers, this happens. Mm. So I was thinking of perfect fast food menu. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. So you start out with the classic Wendy's single with cheese, which is nice about putting this on your perfect fast food menu because then you can, that is one of the burgers you can have any way you like it. It's not one that comes, you know, predetermined for you. So you can have some play with that, a little back and forth. If you're moving on next, the perfect fast food menu, you're going to go to your fries. What you want to do is get McDonald's French fries. I think that's the absolute best. If you McDonald's, a lot of fast food menu items, a lot of things that you think could end up on this perfect uh, menu. But I think the fries are their highlight. That is their big time seller. That's their big all star. And I think you want to have the McDonald's fries on the uh, on the perfect fast food menu. Then if you go from there, um, I think if you move into. Oh, he's back! And... All right, now why are you hitting me? You came in, you flipped me! Ow! 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 You're stomping a mud hole in me and walking it dry! What are you doing? Ah! Oh, I'm stunner! I just got stunned! I got a so-called stunner! Where were we? Well, I was talking about fries, and then I got flipped off and stomped into the corner, and then stone cold stunned. Where are we all together now? Uh, Burgers and fries. Okay, what do we got? Uh, I said the Wendy's single for the burger and uh, McDonald's french fries for the fries. 
Now, McDonald's did change their fry recipe. Do you know that? Because I don't think their fries have been the same since. They made their fries healthier. Do you think you have a better fry? Uh, Wendy's. I know I, I don't want to double up with the Wendy's, but Wendy's fries are saltier and tastier than yeah, McDonald's. Yeah, why don't you guys just go to Wendy's for everything? <laughs> yeah. I think next, if you're moving on into a dessert, I think you can go two ways. If you have the, if you're looking for a shake, that's where you go to Arby's for the Jamocha shake. I think it's the best fast food milkshake there is out there. Uh, I, but if you're looking for more of a dessert item. Then I would go with the Blizzard with Dairy Queen. After a shake? Well, if you're going to go either way. <laughs> I mean, a shake is a shake. A shake could be a beverage, I think. Hmm. Yeah, so but then you can't have it as a dessert, right? No. Then you would go with the Blizzard from Dairy Queen. Uh, here's uh, Roger. Roger, you're on Fez. Hey, guys. What's up? I'm going to have to say Wendy's burgers are horrible. Five Guys are all right, but In-N-Out's terrific. You know, I have heard about In-N-Out burgers in California so much that when I went to California, I'm like, I got to be there. I didn't give a shit about them. Oh. I got two words for you. Hardee's. I felt like oh. I was in the old Hardee's, Fez. Oh, Hardee's. I could never... You have to be hardy to eat that food. Oh, God. <laughs> that... I've <laughs> never God. liked anything from Hardee's. Uh, here is uh, Tristan. Tristan, you're on a fez. Hey, what's up, guys? What's going on? Good. I was uh, thinking about if you took McDonald's uh, fries. Although, you know, Wendy's fries are really shitty because they're all soggy. Or well, when I get them, I mean, maybe I go to a shitty place, but they're really crappy. Anyway, uh, a Whopper is probably the best, and uh, that's definitely what I'll have to say. Nope. See, I'm not going with a Whopper. I mean, yes, I understand flame broil, but also microwaved afterwards. Uh, here's, uh, Scott, you're on Fez. Hey, what's going on, boys? No. Yeah. Johnny Rockets, you get everything all in one. Johnny Rockets, Fez. Johnny Rockets, I always thought of not so much a fast food restaurant, as more of a restaurant. How I, many, it, how many stents would you give it? Would you give it <laughs> two to five stents? Johnny Rockets, I would give a good, uh, four stents. I think it's a good place to eat. All right, but, that, by the way, that's the worst picture I've ever seen taken in my life. That is... Totally disgusting. I can't watch men cuddle up with each other during the show here. Um, what do you think of Sonic, Fuzz? Sonic, I like. Sonic, I'm not a fan. Sonic has a lot of choices, though. They, I mean, None of they, them good. They go all over the road. I say this, and I say this with an original thought. Fuck Sonic and Jack Black. And no. I'll leave it there. Uh, Jack and Black that's because I, anything that you uh, hear me say mm -hmm. is mine and mine alone. Uh, here is uh, Tom. Tom, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, what's up, boys? Yeah. Ronnie, you sound like a million bucks today. I feel like a buck 380. All right. Fezzy, I got to disagree with you with the uh, the Wendy's, man. I don't know if you've ever left the bar at 3 in the morning and went over to White Castle and got a couple sliders, but those got to be the best. I got to agree there, too. Mm -hmm. White Castle for late night stuff. <sighs> Wendy's doesn't impress me, boys. Square. I don't like how they Square and bland. There's yeah. no fucking taste there. Not great buns either. I'm not even a fast food burger guy. I will give them, I'll give McDonald's all the credit in the world for those fucking uh, breakfast sandwiches they do. Oh, though. really? Yeah. Oh, the sausage McMuffin. I'm surprised. That's the best. With, uh, with egg and cheese. <laughs> I don't want to just uh, sausage on a McMuffin. You know what's a great item from Tell White me. Castle? Believe it or not, their mozzarella sticks are quite tasty. <laughs> That's the saddest thing I've ever heard in my life. Well, I mean, they're not, you know... Restaurant caliber mozzarella sticks, but if you need a quick fix, <laughs> that's sad since they're a restaurant. If I was going to throw in another <laughs> uh, side item, I would go with KFC coleslaw. Oh, what? I you you've left Kentucky Fried Chicken completely off. Well, I'm throwing them in now with their coleslaw. Okay. Why? Have you eaten it? Yeah. No. Who? Where? Where do you normally get coleslaw from? Your mom? Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I guess so. That's the saddest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're okay with that. <laughs> All right, by the way, have they ever had, like, uh, famous people really pushing some of the fast food? Because this is the 10 worst celebrity-endorsed products of all time, according to Manifest.com. Uh, 10, Nelly's Pimp Juice. <laughs> Did not think it went over. This one I didn't even know. Uh, Smokey Robinson's Down Home Pot Roast. <laughs> I guess it's smoke-flavored. 
Smokey Robinson <laughs> pot roast. It seems like it would be good. Um, I, uh, no, I can't uh, think that he's going to do well with a beef product. Eight, Dwight Yoakam's Chicken Lickens Buffalo Bites. <laughs> That's a lot. What about this one? This comes in number seven. These are all real. Cheech Marin's What's Happening Hot Sauce. <laughs> uh, the Ernest uh, Hemingway uh, Marionette. Uh, five, Jeff Fox- Foxworthy's Beef Jerky. Oh. Four, uh, everybody loved this in Minnesota, Hulk Hogan's Pasta Mania. <laughs> Three, Dr. Ruth's uh, Game of Good Sex video game. Two, this one didn't go over so big. Um, Steven Seagal's Lightning Bolt Energy Drink, and number one was Rap Snacks. I don't remember the Rap Snacks. Do you, hit Hicks? Yeah, I saw those a while ago. It's um, Young Jeezy, the rapper, promotes them, and it's um, just rappers uh, own uh, snacks called Rap Snacks, like barbecue flavor and whatnot, Ch- the potato chips. Uh, Johnny, you're on Fez. Hello, boys. It's, uh, I- I'm saying Fat Burger, best burgers out there. Fat Burger on the, it's also West Coast? Uh, you know, they were for a long time, but they moved out. Now there's some in Jersey and some in New York, so they're moving out this way, man. Fat Burger is the burger to go. Anything in the city? No. All right. Now, I'm normally going to believe Johnny when it comes to burgers. What's your burger in the city of, of choice, Johnny? Uh, the place across from your studio there in the, in the hotel, uh, yeah. the burger joint. I mean, that's like... Burger right. joint, and Fez is going to get us all... Uh, burgers from the burger joint, including everybody in the studio audience today. It's going to cost you quite a bit of cash, Fezzy. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I say I didn't realize <laughs> studio audience was included. Yeah. Like this was Oprah or something. And then I also need another 200 <laughs> Why? Uh, Dave, you're on running Fez. Hey, Fez, how's it going, buddy? Yeah. What's up? Uh, you, mean, you mentioned uh, Hardy's didn't have nothing good on the menu, but uh, Forrest Fast Food Hot Dogs are concerned. Hardy's got some of the best fast food hot dogs around. I've never made it through their menu to get to the hot dogs. Well, then really you shouldn't be putting together a list, Fuzzy. Until you're ready <laughs> to come out here and give a true list. Because it sounds like you're just picking Wendy's for everything. No, I got a Wendy's, I got a McDonald's. I will go to another McDonald's on here. Uh, Casey would also like a burger. And for Dave to bring it home. You got it. Boy, that must stay fresh after the long <laughs> bus ride, huh? And in my beer-soaked book bag. Yeah, it's delicious. It's a good thing you're not, like, taking transplanted organs over there or something. I I'm love the, the fact you're, re- you're so rich, Fuzzy. <laughs> not really. Yeah, I really hadn't included the studio audience Focus today. Focus on your bit. You're running <laughs> a bit. Um, with the McDonald's, I will add this other item. Good. The Coca-Cola. I think if you're going to get a Coke, get it from McDonald's because it tastes different there. It ta- it, McDonald's has better fountain soda, better fountain Coke than other fast food restaurants. See, here's what I don't understand. You've told me that before. Mm-hmm. But doesn't Coca-Cola hold every restaurant to the same restriction? Do you really think they would let their product, their their brand, go up and down in flavor? That seems dangerous to me. I mean, it doesn't. It seems like they would give you know the um, the required measurements, you know, for the soda and the syrup and everything. But I don't know. McDonald's just tastes so different their Coke that there has to be something different. But wouldn't you think that that could cost them their their ability to do it? I always I have a theory about this. I think the Coke's exactly the same. It's McDonald's food goes best with the Coke. In other words, it's it's the McDonald's. So if food. we went in and got a Coke. Uh, anywhere else, and then also got a McDonald's Coke, but no food. Right. We did a taste test, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Right. Yeah, if we got a McDonald's Coke and a Burger King Coke, you wouldn't be able to do it. But then, if you had McDonald's with that Coke, you're saying, wow, this is the best Coke I've ever had. Something salty about the McDonald's food that goes great with a Coke. I would think that if I was working for Coca-Cola, I would want to go in and check all the time to make sure they were making my product Exactly the same everywhere. Now, I don't know that to be true. I don't know much about how they do their business. Right. But I can't imagine anything more important than mm. that. At least for consistency, yeah. Yes, of course for consistency. What else do you have when you have a cheap product like that? All you really have is the fact of anywhere you should be drinking a Coke. Mm-hmm. doesn't matter where you get one. 
Carbonite.com, it is the online computer file and storage recovery system. You don't have to lift a finger. Once you set up Carbonite, you can forget all about it. It's going to back up your files while you work without slowing down your computer. If you have valuable pictures that you can't replace on your computer, you got business files. I got valuable pictures because I have a picture of the Mona Lisa. Wow, that is valuable. Mm. So you don't want to lose the, the files and the photos on your computer. If you go to Carbonite.com, you sign up, it's going to store your stuff. You end up losing it off of your computer, it's there safe and sound at Carbonite.com. Carbonite, huh? Carbonite.com. Carbonite.com. They're going to be able to retrieve things for you. Recovery, recovering lost files is easy. You get your files back with just a few clicks, and they can help you transfer your irreplaceable files to your new computer when you get one. They're going to be there for you. It's like having a wife, but better. Carbonite.com. Carbonite.com isn't going to lose anything. Yeah. With Carbonite.com, I don't even care that my grandparents died. So it's it's also affordable, less than five dollars a month for unlimited backup. You can try it free. Really? Yeah, less yeah. than five dollars a month. Then give me a year's worth. <laughs> At these prices, it's nothing. <laughs> you can try it free with no credit card requ required. It's the smart insurance policy for your irreplaceable data. So check it out. Go to Carbonite.com, enter the offer code XM to start your free trial and get two free months if you decide to buy. That's Carbonite.com. The offer code is XM, and you can try it free today at Carbonite.com. Mm. You love bringing up products in the middle of everything we're talking about, don't you? Well, yeah, I tend to, yep. My, uh, my problem is that you... Uh all right, here's what Paul's dead says. McDonald's is the only business that has Coke's recipe. They produce their own syrup. Well, how much of a secret if you can let all the kids use it? Yeah. So it sounds like it's almost a different syrup then. What they're selling isn't even Coke. It's Mick Coke. Hmm. Stella, you're on Ronnie Fez. Yeah, that's why they started selling the bottled waters because Coke, my dad used to work for Coca Cola. He just got laid off recently. But I'm um, sorry to hear. They used to, yeah. They uh, they put the they make the water the same so they can like distribute it through all the countries and then so you know the product's the exact same no matter how you you know where you drink it and then uh, they uh, they just figure with the bottled water craze started kicking in in the nineties. Oh, we should just start selling this, you know. So they start selling Dasani. Hmm, that is by Coke, isn't it? It is. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is yours, big man. Uh, here is Mike. Mike, you're on the Rana Fez show. Yes, hello, uh, Ron. Yes. Long time caller, long time listener. What do you got for uh, us? I work for the Coca Cola Company, and I'd like to put to rest your theories about. Oh, thank God company. somebody from Coca Cola is called. Um, I'm a service technician for Coca Cola. I got two radio shows. I can, shows. Way. <laughs> I can assure you the syrup used at Coca Cola is the same syrup used everywhere for McDonald's. There's no special syrup. There's nothing special about McDonald's except for the fact they spent a tremendous amount of money on equipment to serve that beverage absolutely crispy cold. All right. See, I don't see where it's colder, but it does taste different. It almost has like a spicy flavor to it, almost like cloves or something like that. Well, the colder your Coke is, the crispier it'll taste. And McDonald's <laughs> goes through a tremendous amount of trouble to make sure that drink tastes the way it should. As a matter of fact, they have built-in uh, uh, quality checks every 60 days to make sure everything is right with that drink. Now, uh, Mike, you don't think it's the clovey goodness that really we're getting there? <laughs> <laughs> There's something different about it, I'm telling you. It's just, uh, as I assure you, it, it's the same syrup served everywhere in the world. It's just McDonald's goes through a lot of trouble to make sure it's right. They have a, a high-end filtration system to make sure the water's polished, clean, and they uh, go through a tremendous amount of energy to make sure that drink is cold when it reaches your lips. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, they use different ratios to anticipate ice melt in the drink to make sure that drink tastes the same from when you pick it up and 10 minutes later when you pick it up again after you devour your sandwich. All right. I mean, it's. I mean, I guess it's McDonald's uh, checks it more and has better equipment, but it seems like an awful lot to go through for fast food restaurant employees. Why would it be? 
because they're just moving so fast all the time. Right, but they want the best quality. I mean, you have to remember, this is all these people think about, and they don't want their employees to do the thinking. I mean, the whole point there is that you, you're showing up and you're having your hands, but you're not going, hey, we've got a great idea over here. Uh, here is uh, Don. Don, you're on my fez. Hey, how you doing today, buddy? Yeah. Hey, Ronnie B., do you think that the man who gave us week week old two cents Watley is worried about his own demise from eating all these unhealthy cuisines? Uh, what I right now I'm just basically I don't need it all the time, but I'm basing it on the medicine, hoping the medicine does its work. You know what? I don't need this shit anymore. I can't sit here and watch you kill yourself. I'm out. What? All right, now you can leave, but you don't have. All right, why hit people on the way out? Why overturn furniture? And don't flip me off. Why the double flip off? I understand getting upset, but when you walk out backwards like that, you're gonna end up tripping over something. We can have the disagreement, but why? Gosh, why so violent about it? Just brutal. And I just wonder if, like, the Coca-Cola people are maybe just fooling themselves. I mean, I'd like to, them to go into a McDonald's and taste this Coke. It is not the same that you're going to taste in other places. It's really, really not. Oh, why are you back in the... You got a big garbage can? Don't hit me with a... Oh! 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 He's hardcore! He's hardcore! Ow! Oh, just stuff it on my ribs! Uh, that's the end of my show. Talk.